Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on The Flash Season 7, and also Supergirl Season 6, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so we have some interesting things to talk about. So I've been thinking about this, and one of these things, one of the topics was brought up by a YouTuber who is very good, and you guys should check him out. He has about 7,000 subscribers, his name is Flashverse, you can check him out in the description below, go subscribe to him, go support, he makes very good content, so, yeah, one of the topics was brought up by him when we were just, you know, talking, and then he brought it up, and I thought it was really interesting, and I thought I should bring it up in a video very soon, well, here it is. But the other thing I want to talk about for quite a while, I think this was also brought up on a stream the other day. So if you want to check out any of the streams that I do, please be sure to go to those weekly streams that we'll be doing. It's going to be either Wednesday or Thursday probably this week, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, so yeah, the first topic is in regards to Supergirl ending and Supergirl's final episode of Season 6 and the final episode of the whole series. So, as you know, Supergirl is ending this season and they are going to be having a 20 episode run. That was reported a few months ago, maybe like two months ago as of right now. So, it's been a while since we got that announcement and people have been speculating. You guys can check out my coverage in regards to Supergirl ending. I've made various videos talking about different theories as to how the show will end and what's going on and, you know, explaining the kind of confusion over Supergirl being ended rather than Supergirl getting cancelled. So, there's been a lot of discourse going on and I think one of the things that a lot of people have been kind of thinking about but no one's really made any videos about or properly talked about online is the fact of what's going to happen in Supergirl season finale. We've talked about how Supergirl might end, but we haven't really talked about what might be in that final episode. So if you, you know, go back to see Arrow and its final episode, obviously that was a Arrow-centric episode. It was very heavy on what was going on there. That obviously is a very valid option for what may happen in Supergirl's final episode. It will be predominantly focused on Supergirl's past and Supergirl moving forward. So, you know, how the characters are going to go on forward past the show, obviously fictionally, because you won't see those characters unless some of them return to other Arrowverse shows. Diggle did that post arrow he was in the flash's next episode after that so i guess that counts as post arrow but since then we haven't seen any other arrow characters return apart from characters on legends who are already there so they already left arrow by the time it ended so what is going to happen in the season finale i've got a theory and i think this theory is very very valid and this was brought up on the stream the other day and i really think that you know, there's a strong case to be made that The Flash, that Barry Allen, will show up in Supergirl's season finale and series finale. And why do you think that is? Well, let me answer that. Supergirl and The Flash have had a proper relationship since, you know, the first crossover really between the two shows. And that relationship is obviously not a romantic relationship, but it's like a friendship and it's a dynamic that, you know, fans are really, really into. I love seeing The Flash and Supergirl on screen together, obviously played by Grant and Melissa. I think, and I think most of you guys will agree with me, that it would be very fitting if Grant showed up for the final episode of Supergirl to say goodbye to Supergirl, because remember, the first time that Supergirl crossed over with the Arrowverse, because most of season one, we were kind of unsure if it was part of the Arrowverse, due to it being on a different network. It was on CBS and obviously the CW is where its home was for the next few seasons until this last season this year. So it finally crossed over and that first crossover was Barry coming to Kara's Earth, Earth 38 and you kind of had that first interaction and from then on out you've had them crossing over many many times on the yearly crossovers. The first one being Heroes vs Aliens aka Invasion that was so good, and that was, you know, the first time that Oliver's seen Supergirl and all these other characters from Legends and, you know, the sporting cast of the other Arrowverse shows. So that was the first time that Supergirl crossed over. Then we had other crossovers like Crisis on Earth X, we had Elseworlds, and last year we had Crisis on Infinite Earths, which continued onto this year. 
And so we've had many crossovers since. Also, we had Duet, the musical crossover that was a singular crossover between The Flash and Supergirl. And so since then, excluding the big crossovers with all of the shows, we have not seen a single crossover between The Flash and Supergirl. The last one being in The Flash Season 3 with the musical crossover. So it's been a long time since they crossed over individually, just them. And I think it would be very fitting for Supergirl's final episode for Barry to at least show up. And I think it was different in the case of Arrow because you had Crisis just literally like a couple of episodes, maybe like one episode before the finale. I need to go back and check. However, you had Barry in that episode, so I thought that was really fitting. I don't think they needed to add anything else. But considering we don't have Crisis at the end of Supergirl's final season, I think Barry should show up at some point in the season, and I think it would make the most sense to have it be Supergirl's final episode. And so it could be a just like a goodbye, you know, Barry comes over, runs over to National City, says bye to Supergirl, and Kara, you know, parts and goes back to the future, or goes to another place, wherever Kara is going to end up, I think Barry should be there to say bye at least at one point. And then, you know, the rest of the episode is heavily to do with Supergirl's past and all of the other characters like Alex Danvers, John Jones and everyone, you know, moving on from that, finding their own paths. Also, in Supergirl's finale, there's been lots of speculation in regards to maybe mon showing up considering that Chris is going to be in Vancouver. Go check out my live stream the other day where we talk about this with Kano Grass, who has a bit more insight into how things are running in Vancouver and the CW film sets. So, lots of leaks over there, so go check that out. Also, the next part of the video I want to talk about, and this comes from Flashverse once again, go check out Flashverse in the description below. Great channel, subscribe to him. And so, what we talked about was the potential of The Flash's penultimate episode this season, which is, in fact, the 150th episode of The Flash being a special episode. So, what about that? Well... I want to link this into my first topic before we just specifically talk about what could happen in the 150th episode and comparing it to Arrow's 150th episode, which was a special episode as well. So, joining it with my first topic, for The Flash's 150th episode, which will be very special, will we see Supergirl show up in it? So I think at some point this season you're going to see Barry and Kara cross over because there's no way before Supergirl ends they're not going to cross over. I know it's a bit harder with restrictions at the moment in filming to have other cast members cross over and things like that, but they can do it in a way that it will work and I'm confident we'll see this because they do plan to do the crossover with Batman and Superman and Lois, which I do find a bit strange because I feel like if Supergirl is ending, it should be like a Supergirl crossover with The Flash. I think they should do that, but that remains to be seen. However, The Flash is having its 150th episode, so there is a chance that Kara will show up in that, and this is because if we go back to Arrow's 150th episode, Barry in fact crossed over into that episode. So that was back in season 7, you know, Arrow's penultimate season, and so this is season 7 for The Flash. The penultimate episode is episode 17 because they confirmed this season Season 7 is going to be 18 episodes long, so episode 17 will be the 150th episode of The Flash overall. Obviously you have the big crossover, kind of big events when you have the 100th episode, but the only other show in the Arrowverse to do that is Arrow, so this is two things. So like, you know, when Supergirl did its 100th episode, we knew something big was going to come up because we'd already seen that on The Flash and Arrow. So now that The Flash is approaching that episode count once it gets to episode 17, I would say definitely we're going to get some sort of big moment, possibly a crossover, and we should see maybe Melissa show up as Kara in the 150th episode, because I think if Grant showed up in Arrows, and I think they're going to try and look at that and do something similar for The Flash, because again, the Flash did that, they looked at Arrow's 100th episode, oh how special that was, you had all these returning characters, and then look, look at The Flash's 100th episode, they did the exact same thing, obviously in a different way, but they had returning characters, same with Supergirl, Supergirl did that. So I think there is a pattern, and I think they're going to follow Arrow's pattern, and that means there is a high possibility that Supergirl will show up in The Flash's penultimate episode this season. That could be crossover, the final moment between those two characters, so that's a possibility for their goodbye. 
However, like we said at the start, it could be in Supergirl's final episode, Barry shows up, or there is a possibility that with these two major episodes and both of these two major shows for the CW, that those two are going to cross over, maybe in both episodes. So that would be ideal, and then we would also see them in the Batman and Superman Lois crossover. So I would say the highest possibility is we may see them cross over three times individually, even if it's just small cameo appearances, there is the possibility of seeing them together three more times this season. However, that remains to be seen if they are able to do that due to restrictions, but I think there is a chance. So what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think this makes sense? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.